Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, the sun's just about ready to peek over those trees, hit all the solar panels. It's going to be a good day. Nice. And there it is. Full sun. So it is getting over those trees right now, at least for this one test panel that I'm running. So I just made my way out to a battery box at the back of the property that I used to pump a little water. And I just turned my back on these batteries for a little while, because it hasn't been that long since I looked at them. And these are some old lead acid, flooded lead acid batteries that I'm just squeezing every bit of life I can out of them. As you know, I run lithium iron phosphate for all systems, but I was just just trying to drive these into the ground, turn my back on them for a little while, and here's what they look like. Boy, I don't miss this. You know, you just turn your back on these for a little while. And of course, you come out here and you have to fill them up with water. They're heavy, they're a mess, they're a pain in the butt. They only have 50% of their capacity available to you at any time. So yeah. Those are all the reasons I don't miss dealing with these. Now I will clean these terminals up because they still are working and I just want to make sure I squeeze every bit of life out of them. But even though there's still some capacity, you know, the gassing that they do, the corrosion, the mess, and when they're dead, I'm going to have to risk a back injury moving them out of here. And I was just having a conversation with a viewer who has been sitting on the fence about switching over his flooded lead acid battery bank to lithium. And we were talking about these very same issues, flood acid versus lithium. And as an example, this battery bank has been in place for well over a year and a half. I haven't popped these off to look at them for a very long time. And as you can see, we don't have any of those issues of corrosion, gassing, anything of the sort with these. The terminals are just nice and clean. You never have to worry about cleaning them up, which is really a big plus. And of course, you don't have to add any water. And of course, these have 100% of their capacity available to you. I don't drive them down to 100%, but if I had to, I could without any serious degradation. And they are easy to move around. So these are all the, the reasons that I decided to make the switch. And these are things that I thought I'd reiterate for some of you that are thinking about doing the same thing. Very nice, clean. This is another battery. Pop that terminal cover off. And that's how they stay looking. Nice and clean throughout their use. No gassing, no bubbling. You can have them indoors like here, not worry about any of that gassing. When I used to run a bunch of flooded lead acid, battery banks in the house because I was in freezing temperatures, which is not the case now. But when I was, I had to build a box around my battery bank, vent it to the outside and run a, a 12 volt fan constantly to push that gas out of the house. All of these batteries that I'm showing you have been in use for quite a long time and there's not so much as anything on here and there never will be. There's just nothing to bubble out, gas out. These are all the reasons that lithium iron phosphate right now is the choice for your off-grid power, backup power, camping, whatever you decide to use these for. And because they have all of that available capacity, uh, they are cheaper than lead acid, by far. They last so much longer, and 
you don't have to worry about taking them below 50%. Those were all the considerations that I used while switching over and I couldn't be happier that I did. So yeah, what a mess. I'm gonna have to tear this bank apart, sandpaper all those terminals and cables and clean them up. Takes a lot of time. I don't like doing it. I thought I would never do it again, but I guess I'll do it one more time just to keep this bank going until it's completely dead. And then I'm gonna get someone strong back here to lift these things out of here for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't turn my back on those very long. Just came out and filled them up with water a few weeks ago and they were all clean. And that happened within a few weeks of me not looking in here. That's incredible. And disgusting. <laughs> so anyway, those are all the reasons I switched over. No fuss, no muss with lithium. Lightweight, easy to move. You don't need to keep a bunch of distilled water on hand. And you've got all the capacity that they can hold available to use. Things you might want to consider. Hope you're having a beautiful day where you are. Have a good Thanksgiving, everybody. Lots to be thankful for. Aloha. Yeah. Beautiful day. Love it.